Yes. Labor who supply is inelastic receives higher incomes or wages because it cannot be easily substituted. Okay. Now, when we say that it cannot be easily substituted, we mean that it takes time to, to train uh, this, uh, this uh, labor. Take, for instance, a doctor. A doctor, it takes about five years to train to become a doctor. When we go ahead and talk about neurosurgeon, it takes more, slightly more than five years to train as a neurosurgeon. So that is labor whose elastic of supply is inelastic. Okay? So such labor receives higher pay or higher wages or higher incomes because of that. It's not easy. It takes time to increase their number. However, labor whose supply is elastic and low wages and low incomes because it has low skills and can easily be substituted. Okay. Hey, of course, you know how long it takes to train to become certain, you know, uh, certain professions. It takes you about two years, then just to know that <laughs> your elastic of supply is what? Is, is elastic. They can easily substitute you. Mm. So you receive less income. You receive less or low wages. I'm told we have, we have only about three neurosurgeons. The last time I had in Uganda, the last time I had, I think this year, one, one passed on. So in order to train another neurosurgeon, it will take more than, slightly more than five years, yeah, which is, uh, which is quite, uh, quite long, okay? So when we have those few people around, they are paid uh, very high wages compared to other people who are, uh, whose uh, elastic of supply is elastic. Uh, the other cause is uh, differences in the bargaining power of trade unions. Now, what are trade unions? Trade unions are simply labor organizations uh, that are formed by the workers themselves, okay? And uh, whose major role or whose major objective is to advocate for better working conditions of, of their members. So we have uh, examples. There's a trade union for teachers, which is called UNATU. There's a trade union for doctors. Uh, Uganda Medical Association, I think. And then you have a trade union for lawyers. Uganda is it law society and many others you can give more examples so when you say trade unions don't get lost that's why we are saying I just had to give you something so that you understand what trade unions are now these trade unions normally bargain for an increase of wages for their members okay now we are saying strong and well-organized trade unions always succeed in getting higher wages for their members. Of course, when you say strong, the number is also very important, okay? Like UNATO is strong because the number is quite big, okay? And well-organized trade unions, they always succeed in getting higher wages for their members. While the weak and disorganized trade unions fail to get an increase in wages for their members. This causes what you call income inequality or income disparity. The other cause is variation in the ability of the employers to pay the workers. Variation in the ability of the employers to pay the workers. Now, some employers have greater ability to pay higher wages to their workers without greatly affecting their profits. While other employers are not able to pay higher wages to the workers due to low sales and profits. Now, this brings about income inequality in an economy. So that is well explained. Please 
dear students, you've got to explain clearly. You've got to let the person know that what you're writing brings out the how. How, very important. Yes. The next is discrimination in the labor market on the basis of age, sex, tribe, religion. ETC, discrimination in the labor market on the basis of age, sex, tribe, religion, ETC. Now, due to such discrimination, some workers are favored by the employers and are paid higher wages or incomes than other workers in the same organization who are not favored by the employer. Now, that helps to explain why different people earn different incomes within the same organization or within the same sector, if you, if you like. So next is differences in the nature of, of occupation and risks involved. Differences in the nature of occupation and risks involved. More risky jobs attract higher wages compared to people involved in less risky occupations, hence creating income inequality. I believe you know what, you know the risky jobs. Now, an example would be during this period, starting from last year, we saw doctors who were on the front line in the fight against coronavirus. That was a risky job, very risky. Because you yourself, you can contract the what? The virus, okay? So that was risky. So those doctors are paid higher, higher incomes, higher wages, compared to those who are in less risky what? Occupations, okay? That is an example that I can give you. I will not give you an example of what is in the, the notes there. You need to get other examples. You know what risky... Uh, occupations look like you know examples okay the next cause is uh, differences in the ability of individuals to bargain some workers have a stronger bargaining power and are able to convince their employers to increase their wages some workers have a stronger bargaining power and are able to convince their employers to increase their wages. Now, these workers receive higher incomes than other workers with a weak bargaining power. They are not able to convince employers to increase wages. So that explains why uh, some people receive low wages while others receive higher wages. The next cause there is the uh, differences in the number of hours worked. Now, this is, the, uh, this is true where the time rate method is used. Remember, in some economies, uh, the time rate method is used for paying wages. Yeah? What does it mean? Time rate method means or refers to where income wages are given to individuals according to the, the, the time spent doing a particular task, okay? Yes. If you spend longer hours doing performing a particular task, then you receive higher incomes compared to someone who, uh, who spends just a few a few minutes performing the same task. So where the time rate method is used in paying wages, workers who spend more time doing a particular task earn higher incomes than those who work less hours, hence creating income differences. 
Now, the next cause there is political influence in the allocation resources in favor of certain regions. Political influence, influence in the allocation resources in favor of certain regions or sectors. Now, in some cases, government officials favor some regions by promoting, they favor some regions by promoting investment projects in those areas. Now, I won't mention that in Uganda because you know what is happening if you are always following. You'll find that a particular region uh, is favored, okay? Different uh, economic activities, different projects, okay, are sent to such regions. Now, those regions, they earn more income. The people within those regions earn more income compared to the people in other regions who have not received such projects. Okay. So that is very clear uh, in that case. Then differences in political climate. Differences in political climate. Political stability encourages investments and more jobs are created hence generating high incomes to people. However, political instability discourages investment, fewer jobs are created, hence generating low incomes. Perhaps you can simply say areas hmm, that experience political stability eh, are able to what? Invest. The people in those areas are able to invest eh, and more jobs are created. Whereas areas that experience political, people in areas that pol experience political instability, uh, less investments are made in such areas, fewer jobs are created, and uh, the people in those areas, they earn low incomes, okay? Next is differences in accessibility to credit facilities differences in accessibility to credit facilities. Now, people who are able to borrow money from financial institutions are in position to expand their enterprises, thereby earning higher incomes than those who are unable to borrow, borrow money to be able to, or people, people who are un unable to access credit facilities, okay? People who are unable to access credit facilities they earn low income because they cannot expand their expand their projects, expand their uh, their uh, their enterprises. So they earn low incomes compared to their counterparts who have access to credit facilities. Non-matching government policy on wages, a government salary structure varies from one ministry or department to another. Therefore, civil servants receive different wages from government, and this creates income inequality. An example is uh, members of parliament receive more salaries and wages than medical workers and teachers. So that explains why uh, there is what we call income disparity, income inequality among the different groups of people living within the same economy. Uh, then lastly, there we have differences in level of development of infrastructure, or you can simply say variations in accessibility to developed infrastructure. Now, increased access to developed infrastructure promotes investment. Increased access to developed infrastructure promotes investment. Now, when you say infrastructure, we mean economic infrastructures like the roads, railway lines, uh, you have the, um, the air transport and many others, those are economic infrastructures, okay? Now such infrastructures, they promote investments, they facilitate production, okay? That's why we're saying increased access to developed infrastructure promotes investment. Now investors, employ people, thus leading to higher incomes. 
However, limited access to developed infrastructure discourages investments, reducing employment, thereby leading to lower incomes, thus income inequality. Now, those are some of the causes you can, you can generate more causes of income inequality. Why there is a income disparity? Why there is a income gap uh, among the people living in an economy? Okay, any questions? Teacher, I, I beg your pardon on the, I don't know whether it was the third point, the point talking about elasticity. I did not get that point. Uh, it says that uh, differences in elasticity of labor supply. Mm. I said labor whose supply is inelastic receives higher incomes. Now, when you say labor whose supply is inelastic, it means it is, it's, it's very difficult to increase the supply of such labor within a short period of time. Okay. And I gave an example of a doctor. Yeah. To train to become a doctor, it takes five years. That is not a short time. Is it a short time? No. It's not short. So that's why we say doctors, uh, their supply is what? In elastic. Okay. In elastic. Yes. Yes. Yes, so their supply is in elastic. That's why they receive what? Higher income. Now, to, to be trained to become a teacher, in some cases, you take two years, especially when you say in the NTCs, <laughs> you take two years and you are through. Okay? So their supply would be elastic. Okay? So that, that one explains why doctors receive much more income compared to their counterparts, the teachers, okay? Yes. Yeah. Have you understood that? Yes, teacher. Yes. Now, do not, I've not mentioned in the explanation, the, the doctors and teachers have not been mentioned. So don't also mention it there. Is that clear? So you need to explain without using those examples. You can simply say labor who supplies inelastic receives higher incomes because it's not easily it cannot easily be substitutable or uh, it takes long to to be trained to acquire such skills okay uh, however labor who supplies elastic and low wages or incomes because it has low skills and can easily be what substituted yes any other question Annette? Annette? Yes, teacher. Any question? Yes, teacher. No. You have understood? Yes. Good. Stephen, you are on and off. Stephen? Stephen? I know you on that, Stephen. Hello? Okay, I believe. This teacher. Any question? This teacher. Any question? On the causes of income inequality? Seven? Miss teacher. Any question? Okay. Teacher. okay. Are you sleeping? Okay. Now, if there are no questions, I ask that because you don't have those notes, you can copy those notes, complete those notes on the causes of income inequality. Also, write notes on effects, consequences, or impacts of and even income distribution. Please, let's complete those notes. Because uh, the next time I want to discuss with you the effects uh, of income inequality, 
when you complete that and you look at the reasons why no the measures being taken by the government or being adopted to reduce income inequality in uganda that should uh, be our next discussion as well then there are some notes i want to send on consumption and uh, and saving okay yes Hello? yes i want to send some notes on consumption and saving but also you can share with the rest. I, I know that people have not attended today. Nalube guy is not there today. Uh, Ochuku is also not there. And Ogwal. the rest, Ogwal is also not here. You, you encourage them to copy those notes. And then if you get time, opportunity, you can also, you can also uh, discuss with them. Okay? Teacher? Yes. Um, is there any question that they, they ask you to, to describe the, the Lorraine's cup? No, like I said, uh, they will not ask you to dis describe in details. But if you want to read further about it, you can always read about it. I just gave you how, how to illustrate it. But when you, as you pro progress, they will explain to you in details. But I've just shown you how it looks like. But they will not ask you to explain it. Okay. Mm, yes, Stephen, you are asking a question. Teacher. Yes. Only the causes of income inequality, do you have a point that says differences in luck? <laughs> no, it's not there. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> 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 it is not there please save it <laughs> you see even those who do sports betting i <laughs> because that is luck isn't it some people win by probability isn't it eh? hey they win by luck okay you find someone as has put eh? you may put one million and fail to win but someone puts one thousand and what and wins are you getting the point yes yes uh, gambling, all those things are luck, but it is not part of this. Eh? Mm. Uh, Stephen, uh, uh, am I clear on that? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, but now be careful. They are going to ask you uh, as you as you proceed or as you move your discussions. There are cases whereby they will ask you the causes of wage differentials. The causes of wage differentials. Please take note. This is causes of what? Income what? Inequality. Okay? They will, call, yes. they will ask you for the causes of wage differentials. Please, there are some points that are not the same. They don't apply. Eh? Some points are similar. Some points are not what? Similar. When they say income, inequality, and wage what? Differentials. Take note. Eh? Is that clear to everyone? Yes. Okay. Now we have we have less than three minutes. What I want to ask you is one, go back and read. Don't assume that you have understood. You go back and go through those notes, understand them, so that the next time we meet, you can be able to flow, understand. You help also the rest. In our next discussion, I expect you to have the notes on the effects of income inequality, and then I expect you to have notes on the measures that have been adopted because the tense can change. They can say measures being taken, that is present continuous. Measures that have been taken, that is recent past. Okay? Is that clear? Is that clear? Uh, so, uh, and then measures that have been taken, maybe you can say that is a present perfect, okay? So take note of that. We are going to discuss that in the next meeting, which is on Friday. It's on Friday from two, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, so you prepare for that lesson, have the notes ready, read through them, so that when I'm explaining, I'm not, explaining in tongues. I don't need to project the notes here because you already have the notes. 
those examples, okay. those examples, you write them in your books. Plus the exercise also do them in your books. Okay, thank you for attending and I wish you a wonderful evening. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. You too.